Lexington has not been immune to the protests that were touched off nationwide when George Floyd died in the custody of Minneapolis police a week ago. And protesters are on the streets in downtown Lexington again tonight. LAX 18's Catherine Collins reports live from the demonstration. Yeah, that's right, Nancy. We're down at Thoroughbred Park, and protesters actually were marching here up Main Street not too long ago. You can see uh, police cruisers in the background. They've been blocking off the street so that um, cars can't come down. But while this is a smaller crowd than it was yesterday, um, they have been marching all across downtown Lexington, uh, chanting those familiar chants, no justice, no peace. Um, this crowd was smaller uh, than yesterday's, but the... Um, but unlike yesterday's protest, this one is more spontaneous. There are a lot of young people in the crowd. And earlier they marched from Triangle Park to police headquarters and stood in front of officers wearing riot gear. The protesters asked officers to march with them, and some of them did eventually, meeting back at Triangle Park to take a knee. Now, many of the protesters respected police marching with them, but some told me this was an attempt to placate people without making any real change. April Taylor is a community organizer, and she tells me, they have a list of demands that they want police to meet, like having a council of citizens to review police behavior. I mean, I think it's great that people are spontaneously protesting, but I don't think it's great that people are allowing themselves to be placated by shows from the police force that maybe they're complying in some way with what the crowd demands. We have real demands, like the collective bargaining agreement. Now, Taylor also told me she wasn't satisfied with Chief Weathers or Mayor Gorton's statements from earlier today, talking about how the protests stayed peaceful this weekend. But uh, Taylor did say she is going to continue to organize community members to get real change in the police department here in Lexington. Live in Lexington, Catherine Collins, LEX 18 News.